Welcome to this episode of Auto Audiography, which I almost forgot about because yesterday was a holiday and nearly forgot about it. But have a wonderful album to go over. Already have it held up. There's no mystery in this one. Uh, this is the Mountain Goats of the Sunset Tree, uh, released in 2005 um, on 4AD Records. A um, little backstory about myself and the Mountain Goats before. I get into this album itself, and uh, the Mountain Goats were introduced to me by a friend of mine, a very good friend. Uh, we used to just get in his car and go driving around, and we'd just show each other music, and I mean, uh, our relationship was a lot deeper than just music, but that's kind of where we connected the most, and where we try to challenge each other to try to like things that really weren't our thing, and he played a song for me by the Mountain Goats called No Children, and it's not on this album, it's on their album Tallahassee, and... The, the the first verse of it, the first little bit, the first lyric, um, struck me, and I didn't like it. it. The Mountain Goats, they're very folk rock, they're very acoustic, and at the time he showed it to me, I was not into anything like that, anything at all, and I just kept hearing that lyric in my head. I kept hearing the first verse of that song, um, and the first verse is, I hope that our few remaining friends give up on trying to save us. I hope we come up with a, fail, a fail-safe plot to piss off the dumb ones that forgave us. And that lyric stuck with me. It, it just kept coming back up and coming back up, and it would just come into my head at, at random times. And that's what got me into the Mountain Goats. That's what opened me up to listen to the Mountain Goats. And the Sunset Tree, I, now I haven't heard their newest album, which I'm, I'm sure I would just adore. And I don't think I've heard their last two. But the Sunset Tree, as a whole, as a complete album, is probably my favorite album. It's their ninth studio album, um, and every song is written and, I don't know if produced is the word, by lead singer John Darneal. And uh, let's see if the liner notes are in here. Well, let me just give a little bit of backstory about the album itself. Um, the album itself revolves all around John Darnielle's um, life as a child, basically. All around his house. It, 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 it's all one cohesive feeling, one cohesive argument. Uh, and this kind of harkens back to the La Dispute thing I was talking about of how it, they make art out of music. It's not just music for music's sake. It's not just a pop hook and some some lyrics going on. Granted, this has an act, this has actual song structure, and it's not as experimental as La Dispute. But if you like a good folk, a good you know, a good folk rock, uh, a good story being told. Uh, Mountain Goats are for you. They they're amazing. His his he's, his singing is definitely folky, a little higher pitched, um, but this revolves all around his life in in the the home he grew up in uh, and the people involved in his life at the time. His his mother, his maybe his I think it's his sister, his stepfather, and a key point in this whole album is domestic violence, and domestic violence is a, a running subject in every song basically and after delving into this album completely and listening the whole way through and getting that feeling and understanding it um i i, I can say that i've never been a victim of domestic violence uh but some of the feelings that he talks about about the dread and about the the, the just being afraid of, of a parental figure i've had that um my father's dealt with demons his whole life and um, there's a few songs in general, and there's a few songs specifically where he talks about how like his his stepfather was sleeping and they had to be quiet or there'd be hell to pay. And I think I think most kids probably had that if they had a dad who like worked early and then took naps. But <clears throat> that that feeling of dread is with me. That um, I'm not. There was never any physical abuse. There was almost certainly some emotional view abuse. I mean that comes with any addiction, but. That's how I can connect with this album so much, is because uh, even though I wasn't a, a victim of domestic violence per se, I was in a bit of an abusive relationship with with my father um, and my mother to a point as well. 
Um, but that may be for another day. Um, that may be something I'm still super uncomfortable about talking about, but made a step already talking about it a little bit, so let's leave it at that. Um, <clears throat> and along with the constant subject of domestic violence and the constant subject of this fear and this dread and this this, this sadness that you, he kind of always had, um, he goes on and talks about, uh, in a song called Love, 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 talks about how <clears throat> there's uh, positives and negatives to doing things for love. Talks about the virtue of it as well as the folly of it. And it, it just there's there's just every song on this album has a line that honestly I could see some hipster have tattooed on his foot or something. Because John Darnielle puts such he knows how to craft a song. He knows how to craft a lyric. And it's such a wonderful thing to hear put together. Um, I, I can't thank my friend enough, Tim. Thank you because you you introduced me to the Mountain Goats. I fought you on it. They're they're so good, and this being their ninth album, and it came out in two thousand five, and I, I'm pretty sure he's still putting out music. Um, if he's not putting out music as the Mountain Goats, I think they put an album out last year though. But I think he has some solo albums too. Um, uh, but there's another song on this album that it's called This Year, and countless, countless years, well, I guess I could probably count them, probably six years of my life, there's been a point during that year where this song would kind of save me. Because the chorus of the song is, I'm going to make it through this year if it kills me. And no matter what the problem in my life was, no matter what was going on, no matter what conflict I had, this song would help me through it, even though it's still aimed at domestic violence, but you can still, you know, connect with it because it's just, it's such a good song. Um, Dance Music is another phenomenal song off this. I, I, when I was fighting the Mountain Goats, it was because I didn't listen to this music. It was because I didn't listen to acoustic. It's because I didn't want to hear somebody talk about their feelings. I appreciate more. I appreciate it more and more as I listen to it. I appreciate it more and more as I come to terms with my own emotions, which is a very weird thing in my life. I think if you've watched any of these videos, you know that I'm super weird about it. Um, and I think I fought it because it was kind of in, in vogue. It was kind of the hip thing to enjoy these bands. And I didn't want that, but I can see the merit in it now. I can see how good it truly is. And... I mean, Scott talked about it in one of his videos of how you, you you think you need to listen to only one type of genre when you're younger, and then the older you get, your spectrum broadens, and you listen to pretty much everything, and it's more accepted. Um, I don't know why it's like that. I don't know why I felt the need to only listen to a certain thing. I don't know why I felt the need to listen to one genre and then just disregard all others. Um I, th I don't think it's the same really in, anymore because I mean I know I, I've seen kids that listen to everything, which is weird. Because usually when you, people say, "Oh, you listen to everything," and they say, "Oh, you listen to country," or "Oh, you don't listen to that screaming stuff," but it's it's kind of become more accepted, and I love that, and it's allowed for more ex experiment in music, more experimenting. Now, granted, that's also done some bad things, but coming out of that experimentation, we have bands like La Dispute, which would never have happened had maybe they haven't grown maybe had they grown up listening to only one genre it wouldn't have happened how it did um but this isn't about a lot of dispute still about the mountain goats and if you like an acoustic guitar if you like a folk rock if you like you know some emotions if you like stories every song in this tells a story there's a great song in here called lion's teeth where he talks about just like grabbing onto the lion's tooth in his mouth and basically riding it out um I haven't heard that song in a long time. That may not be what it's about. <laughs> I haven't listened to this in a while. Um, I still listen to a few tracks every once in a while, but this has not been on my turntable in a while. Um, the record itself, there's the cover to the Sunset Tree. Um, here is the interior. Well, it's supposed to be like that. And then on here, it actually says, he actually dedicates it to his stepfather, who was the man who was domestically abusing him and it says uh dedicated nope wrong it said made possible by my stepfather mike noon in 1940 2004 
may the peace which eluded you in life be yours now. And and it says, dedicated to any young men and women anywhere who live with people who abuse them with the following good news. You are going to make it out of their lives. You will live to tell your story. Never lose hope. So not only is this album kind of a, a buoy for maybe somebody lost in a sea of domestic abuse, um, but it, I, I imagine it was a form of catharsis for him. And it was... It was I don't think he would have been able to put made possible by him and then hoping he has peace if he didn't come to terms with his own domestic abuse. If he didn't come to terms with, you know, it happened and I've made peace with it, I think is what he had to do in order to get through it. And I think this album helped a lot. And this album was probably his outlet to get over it. And I think this album could be an outlet for somebody else facing that problem to face it with a little more vigor, to to, to maybe speak up if it, something is happening. Because domestic violence and domestic abuse is no joke. Um, if, if it's happening, it needs to be stopped because it's awful, um, especially to children. Uh, but I don't know if you can get a child to listen to Mountain Goats, but like I said, they listen to everything now. So I don't know. If you know somebody in a domestic, you know, uh, being abused at home, Maybe shoot this their way. And, you know, but I mean, who knows? You know, every situation is different, but that doesn't change that this album is phenomenal. And I urge you to listen to it. Let me know what you think. Um, and I, I don't even have to say, tell me if it holds up, because I know it holds up. It's almost a timeless sound. Um, listen to this year. Listen to Love, Love, Love. Listen to dance music. Um, Lion's Teeth. A song for Dennis Brown is phenomenal. Um, Dinu Lopati's Bones. Just, there's so many good songs on this album, but if you listen to every track, it does tell a full story. I mean, there is a, there is a song where he kind of talks about um, doing methamphetamine with some kids when he's like older, but most of it is him as a child dealing with domestic abuse. Phenomenal album. Listen to it. Let me know what you think. Thank you, Tim, for introducing me to the Mountain Goats. Um, I hope you watch this. I know you watched the first one a while ago, but I hope you watch this because I truly am very thankful for you as a friend. I am truly thankful for you forcing the Mountain Goats on me and to allow them to burrow into my brain, much like some type of worm. And I'm thankful for you as a person and a human being um, because you made me a better one. Um, not just by introducing me to the Mountain Goats, but by being there in my life at a time I needed you and by just being you. So there's that. Um, listen to the Mountain Goats. Listen to the Sunset Tree. If you want to listen to that song that, that he introduced me to, it's called No Children. It's off the album Tallahassee. Um, but give the Sunset Tree a listen. And thank you for watching. Okay.